Hello, how are you? And this time, uh, will be I will be presenting to you the principles of Pythagorean okay, theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Sometimes people call it Pythagorean theorem, but whatever. Anyway, so assuming uh, we have we have a line and this line will be measured also with the same dimension to make it into an area so now we have an area for this uh, particular line so that's color orange this time it's another line that will be made into another area so now there are two boxes or two areas in the drawing and uh, another line that will connect the two boxes and now we have three boxes having uh, drawn into an area so for the small box that will be called area A, also as A square. And for the bigger box, that will be called area B, also known as B square. And for the third box, that is called area C or C square. You see that both area A and area B or A squared plus B squared, if you combine them, that will be the same area as area C. So that is the principle of Pythagorean theorem. So that's the formula. So now uh, I will be showing to you a right angle. Now this is a right angle of a right triangle. So here, uh, this side again is the line A and that side is the line C and the other one is line B. So the formula again, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So C square raised to the power one half, that's equal to A square plus B square. Now I would like to cancel out C square and one half. So that can be canceled out, remaining C. So on the other side of the equation, a squared plus B squared is raised to the one-half because one-half is another name for square root. Okay, so therefore, A squared plus B squared is just squared and square root. So the square root of A squared plus B squared. So we will have an example about the Pythagorean theorem. We can apply this by looking for the value of c supposing if a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 so the given are the following a is equal to 3 b is equal to 4 and c will be solved now again the formula is c square plus a square plus b square or c is equal to the square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Alright, that will be equal to 25. So the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Therefore, C is simply equal to 5. Alright, that's the answer for our problem. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.